It's hard to believe that it's been over two years since COVID insanity shut down sports around the world. And people are still trying to push ridiculous mandates and vaccine requirements for people to take part in certain competitions, including the U.S. Open here, where Novak Djokovic, who just won at Wimbledon, is not allowed to play in. And people are now pointing out, because the CDC just again updated its guidelines, the fact that tennis is not allowing Novak Djokovic to play the U.S. Open and even now is a complete and total travesty. Novak Djokovic still banned from playing in the U.S. Open despite new CDC guidance. The absurd contradictions of COVID policies continue. News reports broke Thursday that the CDC was finally updating their guidance to accept the inarguable reality that vaccinated and unvaxxed people are equally likely to get and spread COVID. And uh, here is the official thing from the CDC. New COVID-19 guidance from CDC focuses on individuals' decisions. Those exposed to the virus are no longer required to quarantine unvaxxed people now have the same guidance as vaccinated people students can stay in class after being exposed it's no longer recommended to screen those without symptoms yet somehow some way Novak Djokovic who has refused to get the vaccine who has stated multiple times he doesn't care if it ends up costing him his entire legacy it's that important to him he still is not allowed to play in the U.S. Open despite these new guidelines. The change, which is at least a year behind, behind what science actually said about vaccines, has not led to any immediate announcements about a change in federal COVID policy. As OutKick founder Clay Travis pointed out on Twitter, this update should, in theory, benefit Novak Djokovic. How can Novak Djokovic be banned from playing in the U.S. Open when the CDC just announced there is now no longer any difference between vaxxed and unvaxxed? Now, of course, it is the, the policies of the United States that are not allowing Novak to come in over this. But at the same time, the tennis organizations, the U.S. Open, all these people should be trying to do anything they can to get a pass for Novak, to get a waiver for Novak, but they're not. They're not fighting for him. They don't care because it doesn't fit their narrative. So now Novak Djokovic, uh, one of the greatest tennis players of all time, is still potentially going to miss one of the Grand Slams this year because of this nonsense. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.